hello youtube and welcome to another windows tutorial so in this video i will show you how you can hide important information or secret information inside notepad so are you ready let's get started so as you know in windows 10 and also other old versions of windows you have this uh, very useful text editor called notepad okay so you can just type notepad here in your search bar and you get this beautiful and small text editor that you can use in order to edit your text file but here I'm going to show you how you can actually hide some secret information inside this text editor so the trick here is to create two files one which is public which contains all the information that are not important so it can be shown to the others and one which is secret which contains only the secret information that you want to hide okay so i will show you how you can do that very easily using the command line so let me close notepad for first so i can go here on my search bar and type cmt and et voila this is our command prompt here we go so we'll be using this command prompt in order to create our two files so first make sure where you want to save your files so here i'm in the chris folder but let's go for example to the desktop folder so change directory to my desktop here we go so nothing special here I just moved to other directory called desktop so the trick here is as I told you to create two files one which is public and one which is private so let's just type notepad and you can name it whatever you want but you have to, rena to remember the name of the files so let's create so I will tap here the name of the notepad which is our application here and the public file so let's call it just public because it will just contain some information that is not important so dot txt because it's text file then a very important thing is to type also column okay then the name of the private file so this name or file name you should not forget in order to get your information from it okay so i can call it whatever i want so let's call it for example private because it will contains some secret information okay so this is a simple command that you can use here in order to create these two files notepad and make sure to make space then the name of the public file then the column then the name of the private file okay just remember the name of the secret file which is here in my case private okay and i will type or hit enter in my keyboard so what i get here i get a message from notepad it telling me cannot find the file that here I'm specifying which is public.txt column private.txt but this is not important and it allows me to create it do you want to create a new file so I will just say yes I want to create it okay so this is our file here but this file actually it's a uh, private file so here i can type all the private or secret information that i want okay so i will type for example this is my secret text okay and i can save it so i will save here et voila and i will close notepad so let's show actually now if it has created the file so i will just type dire 
So for example, let me show you all the files that has an extension txt in this directory. So I'll type just here star.txt just to get actually all the text file in this directory, but you can do it via the explorer if you want. So here, as you can see, it has actually created just one file called public, but my private file doesn't show, it's hidden. And if you notice here, this public.txt file is empty, it has zero bytes, so it's empty, it doesn't contain anything, okay? So I can open this file here if I want, or just type notepad, then the name of the file, which is public. Et voila, as you can see, it's empty, so I can type whatever I want. So this information, for example, is not important. I can save it. Et voila. Let's open it once again, notepad public you can see that the information is still there but this is a public file which contains unimportant information but where is our file which where is our private.txt file how can you reach it in order to read the information inside it okay so as i told you you must not forget the name of this private file or secret file so in my case i call it private.txt so in order to get actually this text file you have just to type this command here that we have typed before okay so i will go here and et voila so this is the command that we have used in order to create our private or secret file so i will type it once again or i execute it actually once again so I will just hit enter in my keyboard et voila now I get my secret file and secret information that I have saved inside it so this is my secret text okay remember the first time it allows me to create a new file but this time it just shows me the information that I was saving and secret information Okay, so I can add whatever I want. So for example, this is also secret information. And we save it just as a regular file. So I will save, close. So let's execute our public file this time. So the public file or any important information is still there. So if I want to get the secret information, all I have to do is type the command that we have actually executed before. And here we go, as you can see now, I get back all the secret information that I have saved, okay? So one important thing to to be sure of is that if, for example, I type just notepad, because some people will just say, why don't you just type notepad and the name of the secret file, which in this case is private.txt. So what do you think we will get? We will get secret information. So let's see. Let's hit enter in our keyboard. No. It offers me to create a new file. So you cannot actually reach the secret information without executing the same command. I mean, the name of the two, two files separated by a column in order to get your secret file. Okay, so remember that. So let's try it once again. So this is the name of our public file and always column, then the name of my secret file and I will hit enter and this is my secret file. One thing also to remember, if you delete 
this public file because it's the only one that is shown in the, in the directory here. So you can see here in my desktop, the only file that is shown is the public. So if you delete this file, you will delete also the private file. Because as I told you before, the private file actually is saved inside the public file. So it's just a trick that we can use in order to hide some information inside another information. So remember that whenever you delete the public text file, the private file can be or will be also deleted. Okay, so just remember that. So that was just a brief video about how you can actually hide some secret information using just the simple program in Windows, not bad. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.